Hey, this is Heidi Turner with Choice Jacksonville Realty in Jacksonville, North Carolina again. And just here bringing you a quick little tutorial on um, some of the market stats around in our area. I uh, would also like to talk to you a little bit about what it takes to sell your home. So the first thing I want to look at is what has been going on in Onslow County, which is Jacksonville, North Carolina, and Richlands, Hubert, Swansboro, uh, Midway Park, the surrounding area near the Camp Lejeune Marine Corps base. So we want to look at what the, the market statistics are saying about homes that have been sold. And what we're going to do is compare the first quarter of 2014 to the first quarter of 2015 and kind of, you know, just get a little bit of an idea of what is going on with homes that are sold. So if you can see here in 2014, we had 653 homes sold. Now that's all homes. That's considered new construction, foreclosures, resales, um, and that's you know just from any price range. We had 653 houses sell altogether in the first quarter of 2014. Compared to the first quarter of 2015, we're up 2% as we've sold a whole 668 homes so you know not much of an increase but we can see you know, you know at least our market is, is somewhat stabilizing here for for the most part but that's all homes sold again so what we're going to do in these next couple of slides is just take a look at some different types of homes that way and the reason let me just back up here a minute and tell you why i'm going to do this um a lot of people who live in Onslow County know that we've had this huge boom in new construction for the past couple of years. All these builders came in from out of town, bought up some land, and uh, started building some pretty great houses at ridiculously low prices compared to uh, what had been sold maybe seven, eight years ago. Um, we, we had builders coming in building at $75 a square foot, which, just, which was just way lower than what uh, we were used to seeing. So what we're kind of seeing now is the market is evening out. Um, not as much new construction is being built, and you're going to see that here in the next couple of slides. Okay, so let's talk for a minute about bank-owned foreclosures. So what exactly is a bank-owned foreclosure? Well, when you purchase a home and you've lived in it for, you know, a little while, and then something happens, you can't make your mortgage payment anymore. Whether you lost your job, you got PCS orders if you're in the Marine Corps up to another location, and you, because a lot of this new construction came in and started selling for so much lower, maybe your house wasn't worth as much as what it was. And if you found yourself in that situation, there's a very good likelihood that you either found yourself in a short sale situation or VA compromise sale, or maybe you got foreclosed on. Well, our foreclosure rate spiked a few years ago, and we have just seen a tremendous amount of bank-owned foreclosures sold in Onslow County. So we're going to compare last, year, uh, last year's first quarter to this year, and we can see that we're down a whopping 9%. Not a whole lot, but we, we are starting to see that some of those foreclosures kind of go down a little bit compared to last year. So 230 foreclosures sold from January 1st to March 31st, 2014. And January 1st to March 31st, 2015, we had 209. So let's take a look at new construction. All right, so what does this mean here? New construction is down 18% kind of tells us maybe that the builders are slowing down a little bit on the building. We're not seeing as many actives on the market as what we were last year, the year before. Um, so 2014, we had 227 new homes sold, and that's one stories, two stories, three stories. That also includes condos, townhouses, duplexes, all new construction period. And as you can see over here, 2015, we had 187 sold. So, you know, that, that can give us a little bit of encouragement that tells us that maybe some of these out-of-town builders are either slowing down or beginning to pull out a little bit. Market's just not as hot of a new, for, uh, a new home market as what it was maybe a year or two ago. Here's the really encouraging part that just makes me so happy. So first of all, I want to talk a little bit about my, my history and what I've done with, uh, with resales. Um, I've been in real estate for roughly 19 years, and that's to include my time uh, working in a law firm and as a loan officer, and also uh, my time when I, I sold real estate. 
Um, I didn't sell a lot of new construction as far as uh, the listing side goes. I represented a lot of sellers who were reselling their already lived in homes. And several years ago, we just, we saw so many sellers who were, I mean, it was more of a seller's market. Sellers were really making decent profits on their home. It was great investments. And then as we saw the new construction start to come into the area, build a little bit, uh, you know, less per square footage, we saw the values of homes that people had purchased prior to that um, decrease a little bit. Wasn't uh, wasn't my favorite thing to see um, at that time for sellers. So now this kind of encourages me here. We're looking at our first quarter comparison of 2014, 196 resales, not foreclosures, sold. And we're up a whole 39% in this first quarter of 2015. That is really exciting. So what does that mean for you if you are somebody who owns a home around here in Jacksonville, North Carolina, or anywhere in Onslow County? Well, that tells us that the market is, is beginning to stabilize. Now, I'm not going to promise you that if you put your home on the market today that you're going to get an instantaneous sale or that you're going to you know, make a $20,000 profit right off the bat. Every single seller has a different situation. It depends on how much equity that you have in your house. It depends on um, a lot of different factors. So we're, we're going to talk a little bit about that too. So what exactly do I need to do to get my home on the market for sale? Well, there's lots of ways that you can put your home on the market for sale. You can do what's called a for sale by owner. I, of course, do not recommend that. Um, as a for sale by owner, you're responsible for everything, not only the marketing, but you're responsible for knowing what the paperwork says. There are certain documents that the state of North Carolina requires sellers to have uh, presented to any buyer who makes an offer, such as a residential property disclosure. Um, it's about a four page document with all sorts of questions about the property. And most homeowners don't even have any idea where to get that kind of document. The other really important thing to know is you've got to get your house out there um, for the public to see. You need the maximum exposure to get your house out. And no, Facebook is not going to sell your home all the time. Can it sell your home? Absolutely. There's lots of different things that you can do to sell your home, to put it out there on the market. But what you want to do is hire a professional that not only can get your home on the internet in multiple, I mean, we're talking like hundreds of different locations all at one time, but you also want to make sure that that information is being displayed accurately and correctly, that there's somebody at all times who can answer questions that potential home buyers may come in and have, um, that they can answer their phone, whether it's a day or evening or weekends or, you know, just whenever, believe it or not, I've actually had phone calls at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Um, so you also uh, you also want to make sure that that home is getting in front of as many realtors as you possibly can, because whether you list your home with a realtor or you decide to do a for sale by owner, more than likely a buyer is going to work with a real estate agent, with a licensed real estate agent, because that buyer gets free representation whenever they work with a realtor. So these realtors, what they do is they, they generate the leads, whether it's, you know, somebody from their sphere of influence, somebody that they've generated as an internet lead. There's lots of different ways to, to generate buyer leads for properties. And those realtors, you know, they, they're going to put them in their car. They're going to drive them around most of the time, buy them lunch, you know, take care of their kids while the, the homeowners are, or the home buyers are looking at the home. Um, there's lots of different, different things that a, a buyer's agent will do. But most importantly, that buyer does not have to pay that realtor to do that. They sign what's called an exclusive buyer agency agreement. They go through a whole process of this. They make sure that they're pre-approved. And at the end of the day, it's really the seller who is paying their the, the commission out. So either way, whether you list with a realtor or you um, sell your home to a buyer who's being represented by a realtor, you're going to end up paying some kind of commission in some way, shape, or form. And it could even be a matter of you have your house on the market longer. If you don't hire a realtor and your house isn't getting the maximum amount of exposure, you're, you could actually end up paying more in monthly mortgage payments than what it would cost you to pay a commission. So what you need to do to get your home on the market right now is first and foremost to contact a realtor who's got some experience, 
who can do a really good market analysis and sit down with you and talk to you about what your home is worth. And that's the next thing we're going to talk about here. First, determine what the market value is of your home. So what realtors do when they're doing a um, CMA or a comparative market analysis is they find the homes that have recently been sold that are most comparable to the property that they're comparing it to, which would be your house they're going to perform acts very similar to what an appraiser would do. They're going to identify these homes that are similar to yours, that have sold nearby, that are similar in square footage and make and um, the year that they were built, the location, the type of neighborhood, whether or not you've got a fence or um, you know a pool or you know just different amenities that a house would have and they're going to compare your house to these homes that are similar to it then they're going to make price adjustments for these different things so let's say your house has 2,000 heated square feet and you're comparing it to a house that has maybe um, 1,800 heated square feet. So the difference between the 2,000 and the 1,800 would be roughly 200 heated square feet. You'd multiply that by $35 a square foot, and that's where you would make your adjustment in the price. So if the house sold that was 1,800 heated square feet, um, you know, let's say it sold for 160,000, we would add that value for the heated square footage onto that sold price to get an adjusted price for, for your home. And that's just one of the ways that we would determine market value. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more, even if you're not considering selling your home yet, but maybe in the next, I don't know, six months to a year, you're, you're considering putting your home on the market, or maybe you think you might get orders somewhere else or um, get you may have a, a job change in the next six months to a year, you're gonna wanna check this website out here in yellow, www.findjacksonvilleareahomes.com forward slash home value. A licensed realtor on my team will contact you and we'll make sure and do a good comparative market analysis. By the way, that service is free. Anybody can get this from anybody on our team and the service is completely free to you. So um, this is the what the website's gonna look like whenever you click on it. And all you have to do is just put your property address in there and click continue. There will be a few short questions. We'll get, we're gonna wanna know how we can get in contact with you so that we can share this information with you, maybe an email address. Um, and uh, a phone number would be great too. So if you're really interested in knowing what your home's worth, make sure you check this out. Okay, so let's talk, talk about your marketing plan to get your home sold. Now, the first thing I will say right now is I'm not going to give out my entire marketing plan right here on this webinar. What I'm going to do is just talk a little bit about some of the things generically that need to be done because of course, don't want to give away the cow for free. So I have a really, really extensive, extensive marketing plan that will get your home maximum exposure to the most people out there in the fastest amount of time. Because we all really want to, when, when we're working together as realtor and seller, it's not one of us working for the other one. We're working together as a team. We really want to make sure that you have the best experience with selling your home as you possibly can. And if your home is sitting on the market for two years, well, you know, that's just not a win-win. It's not a win for, for you, obviously. You need to get that house sold. And it's not a win for the agent because that's a lot more time in marketing and um, a much larger cost that uh, that the realtor incurs in that. So I would love to get together with you and sit down and discuss in extensive detail about what our marketing plan is to get your home sold. So just, you know, a few little tips and tricks that, that um, I'd love for you to know out there is a video. Video is huge right now. I want you to think about Google. If you Googled something like how to um, fix my plumbing, how to fix my, my clogged sink, more than likely, you're going to click on an icon that looks like it's a video of somebody showing you how to fix your sink, right? I would. Um, before I'd read a great big long 40-page blog on how to fix a sink, I'm definitely going to watch a you know 10-minute video on how to do it. Well, 
that's one of the things that you want to do. And we know how to get those videos out there in front of people to make sure that your home is being sold. And I'd love to sit down and show you some examples of uh, exactly what we've done for other homes um, just, just like that. So anyway, we would love to talk to you. Give me a call, 910-934-934. 1465. Again, this is Heidi Turner. I'm a realtor with Choice Jacksonville Realty. I'm also in charge of agent development and consultation here, which means basically that uh, it's a big fancy term for I help a lot of people on our team get your home sold fast. So hope you're having a great day. We'll talk to you soon.